Hey Yankees fans, yet again, this is Felix from M1Ynews.com. Please share the link with everybody you know, friends, colleagues, family, etc. Yankees fans, yet again, supposedly a target of the Yankees was taken out of free agency, Eduardo Nunez. I was going to make a video yesterday when it broke, but eh, I was too busy with other stuff. But um, what does this mean? This means that the Yankees could have easily got Eduardo Nunez to play third base for one year. But they ignored him. They could have got him easily. And don't expect the Yankees to go after Walker either. They're tired of the subpar third baseman after Alex Rodriguez left the Yankees. After Alex Rodriguez was made into a DH. They're sick and tired of experimenting with the Chase Headleys, with the Frasers. They want somebody that's going to produce. They want somebody at third base that has all-star potential. So Jim Duquette, the brother of Dan Duquette, was on SNY. And he said just recently, two weeks ago, that the Yankees were checking in on Manny Machado. So, yet again, what does this mean? This means that the New York Yankees were looking into Manny Machado while Todd Frazier was still on the free agent market. So the Yankees obviously have other plans in mind. Either way you look at it, if they're going with an Andahar or they're going to trade for a Manny Machado. And like I said in my previous videos, I do not see the New York Yankees signing Mike Moustakas for one year. He's already a World Series champion. He's not going to sacrifice himself to, let's say, make 20 or $25 million for a year to sign with the Yankees because they are supposedly a World Series contender. No, he already won a World Series. And let's say there's a possibility of Mike Moustakas signing with the Yankees for one year. He's a pretty dumb businessman, if you ask me, if he signs with the Yankees for one year. He doesn't need to do that. In 2019, he's going to have some crazy competition. He'd rather just take whatever contract, whatever team is offering him at this point. Because Jose Bautista did the same thing, and look at him. Other players did the same thing, and look at them. So if Mike Moustakas is a wise businessman, he already won a world championship, signed with another team. Also, like I stated in my previous videos, Mike Moustakas is going to cost more to obtain than Manny Machado. Mike Moustakas is going to cost you a Gardner or D-Rob, plus 20 to $25 million. Also, draft picks. Trading for Manny Machado, he's just going to cost you $16 million and prospects. Either way, you're going to lose out on the future. Also, if you're not aware of this, in Brian Cashman's new contract, it states that he owns part of the New York Yankees, like 10% or 5%. He owns like a share in the New York Yankees. What does this mean? This means that the more money the Yankees make, the more money Brian Cashman makes. And it could be unlimited. The Yankees could make a billion dollars, and he'll get a percentage out of that. So we saw him adding John Carlos Stanton, how that has already made money for the Yankees. So you can see now how Manny Machado looks to the Yankees and Brian Cashman. Obviously, we know if Manny Machado is traded to the New York Yankees, the Yankees literally are going to be a cash cow. Everybody's going to come to the Yankees and say, hey, I want... Let's work out a deal. Let's for TV, whatever you want to think of. People are going to come to the Yankees in droves. And who's going to make money? Brian Cashman. Okay. So today I saw an article from NJ.com, which is better than the NY Post and NY Daily News, considering that supposedly their name is NewJersey.com. They do great reporting. So this article states that a scout that has seen Andahar or one of the main scouts that scouted Andohar says, hey, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This guy, Andohar, his defense is not major league ready. Hey, he has a cannon in arm, but defensively, he's not there yet. And the Yankees really don't have a third baseman yet. So all these players are signing elsewhere. The Yankees are obviously ignoring them. So it has to make you think that the Yankees really want Manny Machado and we're about to see a blockbuster go down in the same time frame where the Yankees traded for Alex Rodriguez. And Manny Machado, his idol, 
was always Alex Rodriguez, the number 13, Miami, Mr. Miami. You better believe that Alex Rodriguez has already talked to Manny Machado on potentially becoming a New York Yankee, and I'm pretty sure those calls have been recently. So yes, I'm Dominican, but it's not a biased thing with me because Andahor happens to be Dominican as well. I just see it as if you add Manny Machado, he's going to become a cash cow for your organization. He's going to pay for himself come free agency. It's common sense, man. You get him now, you make a whole bunch of money, you invest that money into signing him and making him a part of your ball club yet again. So it's common business sense. Manny Machado is the best logical solution at this point for third base. The Yankees really don't have a third baseman. Andohar and, like I said, that scout is not really excited about Andohar. If you go to NJ.com and read that article, his defense is not there. They say he has a cannon norm. But what use is a cannon norm when you can't play defense? So there you have it, folks. If you're a Yankees fan, get excited. The Yankees really are interested in Manny Machado. All the signs are there. If somebody tells you otherwise, they're just hating because they didn't call it. From the get-go, they called people like me crazy. They called people like John Heyman crazy, Ken Rosenthal crazy, because they had the balls to put that information when it was put out there. So, like I said, all these other so-called experts are saying that, uh, screw Manny Machado, we don't need him. But really, him on the New York Yankees are going to make the New York Yankees automatic favorites to win the World Series. It's just the threat factor. It's the intimidation factor. Manny Machado is still young. It's not like the 2004 Yankees where we had a whole bunch of players that were in their mid-30s or early 30s. It's different this time. We have a whole bunch of young players. So th this might be the real murderer's row that's being assembled right now. The real deal. Not that 2004 roster where just had a whole bunch of old players. So, ladies and gentlemen, Again, this has been Felix from m1news.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.